do to be successful. And then to hold, hold them accountable every day. And that's where Heather Mason's made me a better coach. She has made me a better coach. And I, I want to continue to get better. But it, it was frustrating this year. It'd be frustrating if I was a teacher and some of you didn't pay attention and you didn't care if you got a C. No C's. No B's. What do you want every time? What do you want every time? A. A. That's what I want every day in practice. That's what I want in every game. Do you get it all the time? No. But you know what? If you don't keep trying, it, it'll, it'll get a lot worse. It won't get any better. So that's why, I guess for me, I mean, I have no problem. I have no problem confronting people that are lazy. If you're lazy, you know what? Your life's just not going to be fulfilled. <laughs> not like mine. <laughs> I like your professors. Think about it. And, and people will just step all over you and beat you. So who in this room has got what it takes? Students, think about it. Do you really have the heart, and passion, and drive to be the absolute best you want to be? If you don't, you made your own bed. Got it? That's a choice. Your attitude and how, how hard you work every day, is that not a personal choice? And as I say, you only get one shot at life. You only get one shot. Every day you pick up the newspaper, young people are dying. I'm amazed at how many young people are having strokes and heart attacks. So one other thing I remind you, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. And all of us that are older than all of you young people, we kind of get it now, don't we? <laughs> we know what we got to do. I love life. I want to live a long time. I had a great friend, Sue Gunner, that coached at LSU, and I'll finish on this. But I kept telling Sue, I went all over the country with her. I coached with her in Barnum, Bulgaria. And that was not necessarily the best place I'd ever visited. But she had a bad habit. She smoked about three packs of cigarettes a day. I roomed with them. I burned my clothes when I got home. <laughs> I left some of them over there. Because I kept saying, Sue, give it up. Give it up. And she was coughing all the time. She would light up at 4 o'clock in the morning. And all I'm telling you is, if, if you got something right now, you want to make a change, <coughs> make a change. She didn't change. So the last time I went to LSU was for a salute dinner for Coach Gunner. We all knew her days were limited. And at the end of the night, she came in and gave a beautiful speech, but she was hooked to oxygen. And she had a hard time getting through and talking, but every player that ever played for her was there that night. And every coach that had ever coached with her was there that night, including myself. And I knew it would be the last time I saw her. But when she got ready to leave and get back in her little golf cart, <coughs> in her little oxygen mask, she said, whatever you do, don't do what I did. Don't do what I did. It goes fast. What is it? So whatever you do, take care of yourself. So I've had a lot of people influence me, but that night sticks in my mind all the time. All the time. We have choices. Get it right. Anybody else have any questions? Yes. What do you do to relax? <laughs> <laughs> I go to bed. <laughs> I work out six days a week, and I get up every morning, unless I have an early morning appointment, I do, I do it at night. But I was diagnosed three years ago with rheumatoid arthritis. So I knew I, I, I wasn't going to let it 
take me over. And I've got a great doctor, uh, Donna Wynn here, and um, I just I just knew that I, I had to follow the book. So I taught her a lot of things actually because I started doing all kinds of hand exercises. Because you see people with rheumatoid arthritis, the hands are crippled. Uh, right now, the last appointment I had with her, she said, if I did not know you had it, I would not believe it. And so when you run into a, a challenge, you know, I got online, I had all my friends sending me stuff. I mean, I'm taking all kinds of stuff. Um, honey is one of the best things you can take, and cinnamon. So I'm on honey and cinnamon. I take shots once a week, and also I'm on methotrexate. Not that y'all hear all my stuff, but the reason <laughs> I tell them is, look, I'm doing great. So if you hit a hurdle there, you get over it. And so for me, that has been a, a big part of what I've done is work out. I love to work out. I've got two labs. And uh, I, I love to take them out on the water, like to canoe. love to go to the beach uh, down in Panama City, go every year. Um, and, you know, for me, uh, I, don't, I don't read as much as I should. But I go and go and go, and then at night, boom. <laughs> Wake up the next morning, wheels are turning, ready to go. But I, I would I recommend everybody, take time for yourself and work out. And then eat healthy. I mean, I'm, all I do right now is I grill. I grill asparagus and I grill squash. I grill salmon and usually chicken. I'm trying to cut the beef out a little bit. I love it. <laughs> That's hard for me. And, and I try to cut out the desserts um, and just try to live, live healthy. I try to be a good mom, a toddler. And this spring I have 21 speaking engagements. So I marked one off today. <laughs> uh, I want to give back to the community. I, I love Knoxville. What a great place we live. We live right on the Little River, so you know that's that's fun for me. I love the water and um, um, just being a part of, of this university. And and like I said, I want to give back to this community. You know, a lot of people talk about you know women's.